Honda Cars India has announced that it will launch the new generation city in the country on the 15th of July 2020. The car was scheduled to go on sale in April this year, but the coronavirus pandemic delayed those plans. Pre-bookings for the fifth generation Honda City have already commenced across the country and it will be made available in both petrol and diesel engines. The car is built on a new platform in its latest generation and gets an all new 1.5 liter iVTEC petrol engine which is mated to a 6-speed transmission and a CVT automatic. The 1.5-litre iDTEC engine from the older generation has been carried over and is paired with a 6-speed manual transmission. The car gets several segment-first features including LED headlamps, a 7-inch TFT screen with G-meter and a lane watch camera. It is also India's first car to get Alexa remote compatibility. When launched, the new Honda City will compete against the likes of the Hyundai Verna, Skoda Rapid, Volkswagen Vento and the Maruti Suzuki Sias. MG Motor India has kick-started the bookings for the Hector Plus SUV in the country, which confirms that the launch of the vehicle is just around the corner. For customers looking to buy the SUV, the company has opened bookings at 50,000 rupees that can be paid online. The Hector Plus is longer by 65 mm than the 5-seater version. The wheelbase though remains the same at 2,750 mm. The MG Hector Plus will be a connected car and will boast of a 10.24-inch touchscreen infotainment system as in the 5-seater Hector. The MG Hector Plus will come with the iSmart connected car technology and will boast of 55 features. It also comes with what MG calls a smart swipe system which basically is a hands-free way of opening the tailgate by swiping your leg underneath the rear bumper. MG will offer the Hector Plus in 6 color options. The company has also announced that powertrain options on the Hector Plus will include the 1.5-litre turbocharged petrol engine, the 1.5-litre hybrid and the 2-litre turbocharged diesel engine. The petrol engine is good enough for 141 brake horsepower and 250 Nm of peak torque and is available with a 6-speed manual and a DCT transmission. The manual transmission though is only made available on the hybrid version. The 2-litre diesel motor punches out 168 brake horsepower and over 350 Nm of peak torque and is paired with only a 6-speed manual transmission. Hyundai Motor India is all set to launch the Tucson SUV in the country on the 14th of July 2020. The new Hyundai Tucson will sport the brand's latest signature style cascading grille at the front, which is now slightly larger than the older version. The SUV also comes with new fully equipped LED headlamps with LED DRLs, redesigned front bumper, new 18-inch alloy wheels, LED elements on the tail light, rain-sensing wipers, and tweaked license plate housing. On the inside, the Tucson facelift will be seen with a redesigned dashboard featuring a new instrument cluster and a free-floating touchscreen infotainment system. The SUV will also get Hyundai's latest connected car technology with features like remote engine start-stop, cabin pre-cool and more. In terms of engine options, Hyundai has already revealed that the 2020 Tucson facelift will be offered with BSX compliant petrol and diesel engines. The petrol engine will be a 2-litre power mill paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission, while the 2-litre diesel will be paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. We've had 15 years of sheer leadership bringing you the very best of the world of wheels. If you like the best, subscribe to our channel.